All right, today we're going to go over some the Creo 2.0 default settings. Um, doing some key configuration. So, if you remember from Wildfire, the background used to be a uh, gradient on default. Now they changed it to white. I guess they did some consumer studies, surveys, and found out that white was optimal. But uh, most people do not like the white. So we're going to go ahead and change this color. Um, so do this. It's uh, still complicated like like it was in Pro-E. Um, so we'll go to System Colors. We're going to change it. We can do Custom or one of the three defaults here. We'll just go Dark Background and make it easy. Um, now thing here, if we save this and then close this, um, we're going to go back to White. So to save it as what we want, we got to export these colors. Uh, let's make a new folder. PTC. Oh, oh. So remember, we already had a PTC folder. So syscall, that's what we're going to do. Maintain that still save name. All right, so now we saved our exporter colors. Now we're going to come down to configuration editor and add a line to tell it to uh, load those colors on startup. So if we just type in system, We'll just search that. So this is what we got. We got all the options that the system comes up with. Now this is what we're going to want here, system colors file. We're going to browse to that directory. See, it already took us there. It's a little bit smart. So then we go add change. So it's now we can see we've got the line and our configuration editor. So this will remember it when we start up. So we're going to go save. Now it's asking us to save the config file. So I'm going to go yes. I'm going to save it over. Right, our old config pro. Okay, let's close this. Let's boot it back up. Alright, as you can see the black dark background has loaded. And uh, we're good to go.